Hi and welcome back to Free Do Hub. As you know, we are covering a course on cloud computing and today as part of the lab exercises, we learn how can we set up a cloud of our own which can be used uh, within an office environment which would work exactly like Dropbox. Employees will be able to upload their files and you'll be able to access and collaborate within the office environment. So that's the tool, Open Cloud or Own Cloud. Dot com and uh, we'll be installing our own cloud server so you'll go to resources and uh, we'll go down to appliance and we'll download the version for VirtualBox by clicking on this one since we'll be installing it on VirtualBox. Now VirtualBox is a free software from Oracle uh, which helps us in virtualizing almost any operating system it's a very good tool for virtualization. So if you want, you can install it first and then start the installation of own cloud. Now to start, first of all, download VirtualBox and then download the version of uh, own cloud uh, for VirtualBox. As you can see, I have clicked it and it has started downloading, which is 1.9 GB. Now once the file is downloaded, you'll go to your virtual box and uh, now we had to install the own cloud. In order to install it, um, if you um, have installed any virtual machine earlier, they'll be all listed over here, but we don't have an option of import uh, on the top menu. Now in order to go to that, click on tools. Now you'll see the uh, option for import. Uh, you'll click on it and then you'll select the file that we have downloaded. Now after selecting the file, we are not making any changes to rest of the things at the moment. Just press finish and accept the agreement over here. It would import the file. It would take some time till the file is imported. Then we'll make some modifications to the settings over here. Now there are a couple of things that we need to change in this virtual machine of own cloud. Uh, in order to make the changes, we'll go to settings and the first thing that you'll notice is here it's saying invalid settings detected and it's saying about the uh, display adapter which is currently used is not compatible with the uh, virtual box version. So in order to change that, we'll go to display and we'll change it to uh, VM SVGA so that uh, we'll get rid of this error message. That's first thing. Second thing is we'll go to our system and uh, we'll try to allocate around about 8 gigs of RAM. Now it really depends on the specifications of your machine. If you have enough RAM available, you can allocate more RAM to this one because if we'll not do it, it will take a lot of time in installation. Second thing is, I'll go to processors and I'll allocate around about four processors to this one. Again, the same thing. I have 20 CPUs available. It's a workstation. Um, you might not have 20. You can choose according to your own specifications. Now, once that's done, press OK and fire up the virtual machine. As you can see, it has successfully installed. Now you can press finish to restart the services. 
and now it's uh, asking you to log in to the browser from the host machine and try to access this address so we'll enter the IP address and uh, it's now asking you to activate it uh, if you remember we entered a email address and uh, own cloud might have sent an email at this address with the uh, license uh, um, which can be used to activate it so you can click on this one skip and upload the license file and now we'll upload the license file we'll select the license file on the location and we'll select the license that we have and as you can see it has successfully activated the own cloud now press finish and it would take you to the initial interface of it now let's try to understand this interface um, this is actually uh, talking about the administration of your cloud um, if you want to uh, go to the uh, user account and the files that users can upload and manage the users you'll click on own cloud if you want to make some changes to the domain for example if it's hosted somewhere in the cloud um, you can click on this one and go to the settings of it to uh, set it up in a proper network environment now if you remember during the installation it showed us a message that root and administrator account can be used uh, with the password that we provided so if i'll try root over here and i'll provide the password it would log me in so that i can make some modifications to the server itself now it's asking that um, a software update is pending if i want i can install it from there it's entirely up to you if you want to update it or not or uh, uh, how you want to configure your server yourself i'm not uh, updating it at the moment since this is only for testing purposes then i'll go back uh, you can check the users uh, which are there on the system um, you can even check the domain settings if you want to join it to the domain um, different settings related to the hardware language and network settings can be configured over here and again on the software it is telling us about the updates uh, which are available if you look on right hand side if you click on it it's uh, telling us about if you want to restart the server or shut down the server um, user settings if you want to change the password uh, certificates for root and certificate uh, revocation list um, even for switching the language the option is available and you can go to the main site as well uh, the second is the admin manual and then it's the user manual so if you are facing any difficulties you can click on it and of course at the end there is a uh, blog for that now if i'll click on uh, this one to manage my own cloud here i'll have to enter administrator and i'll have to provide the password that i provided at the time of installation now it's telling you that you can download the application for desktop or android phone and for apple um, play store as well and uh, you can even import your uh, calendar and other entries from there so that's the basic interface of it um, if you have any document you want to upload it you can click on document and you'll be able to upload the documents over here uh, if you want to share the files we have the options for the public links and for the users and group it can create a public link for you by choosing a password and rest of the things uh, it's even noting down the activities that you have um, the files you are sharing the tags and the versions of the files that you have now if I want to uh, get the uh, details of the file I'll click on it and I'll see the details over here if I want to rename the file I'll click on it so that I can rename the file again if I want to download or delete the options are there now if I want to upload any file in this directory I'll click on this plus button and it would ask me if I want to upload a folder or a text file or a single uh, file or a document I'll click on it and uh, that's the license file that we recently used I will click on it and it would be uploaded over here now um, if uh, you want to go back uh, you can click on documents or all files so it would show you all files if you want to upload the pictures you can click on this one on the left hand side we have the option of all files then favorites if we have any the files which are shared with me and the files which are shared with others and the shared links that anyone has shared with me and further if there are any tags if you'll see on left hand side here we have the deleted files if there were any files deleted and you want to recover them you can click on this one and it would recover the files if you want to go to the settings of it and see the hidden files uh, it will show you at this address 
Now, if you click on these three buttons, it's uh, first of all talking about the files where we are at the moment. If you want to see the activity, whatever um, activity took place on this server, you'll click on this one, activity by you, activity by others, uh, your favorites, any comments or shares that you have on the cloud. Then you'll click on this one and go to marketplace. So it would load lots of other applications that you can download from their Play Store, um, uh, sorry, from their um, own cloud store and install it over here. And if there are any updates pending, they will be notified uh, in this window. Now, if we we'll look at the administrator side and we'll click to the settings, um, we can manage the settings for um, our administrator account. Uh, it's related to the language, mail notification settings, um, the notifications, uh, um, um, how fast or how um, early you want to get the notification for that for daily or weekly, you'll configure it uh, over here. It's even telling you the latest version of it and uh, further if you look on left hand side it's telling you about the storage um, sharing any files which is there you can set up the domain settings and security um, in additional settings uh, uh, you can enable additional applications which can uh, you can load from their store um, on the all apps it would load the apps that you can officially install from their uh, store um, they are all uh, added up here you can even join it to the domain in case you have an active directory on premises then for um, the storage as I have explained you you can attach more st storage to it LDAP servers for authentication on active directory etc um, you can uh, make the changes if required if you want to enable encryption on your files you can enable it from here uh, sharing options uh, how you want your organization to act and your users to um, encrypt the files or to share the files there uh, all settings are uh, mentioned over here if you are clicking on additional settings if there are any they'll appear over here now most important thing is if you want to have any users on your account um, here it's showing you all the users that you have and these are the categories uh, for which uh, we can add users to if you want to add a group over here for example if i want to add hr i'll click and then i'll click add so it would appear here if you want to delete you can click on this recycle bin to delete the group if i want to another uh, want to add another one for example finance and press enter it would be added and if I'll click on it it would be deleted from here now same thing over here uh, we have two categories uh, first of all if you want to add if you want to edit the full name of it or if you want to change the password you can click on it and if you want to delete an account you can click on this delete button so if I want to create an account for example test and if I am uh, using it as test as test.com and I want to add it to the group of uh, HR for example I'll create create and it would create an account in the group of HR now if I want this user to be the administrator of the HR group I'll select from here and I'll select this one so in group admin mr. test will be the admin for the group HR same thing is if I want to create a new user over here test one and I'll name it as test one as test.com and uh, I want to add a group over here I'll click on this one and I'll type help desk and uh, press enter so help desk is there and now if i'll create it the user would be member of help desk you can change the membership you can have him as a member of multiple groups as well and you can change if he is admin of any of the other groups uh, you can even define the quota for this one um, how much space you want to allocate if you want to send them an activation email or invitation email or if you want to delete it you can click on this one and it would be deleted from here so our left hand side is the administrator account whereas on right hand side we have an account for the user which is a normal user now um, if i want to add any documents uh, for me as a test user i'll click on this one and i'll upload a document so 
I'll upload a picture for example this one and this picture is uh, uploaded on my account so only I can see it no one else has access to this one uh, if I want to share this file with uh, the administrator I'll have to click on this one and then it's asking for the user or group so I'll type administrator and it would show that administrator account exists on the network. I'll click on it and it would show that the file has been shared with the administrator. But here, it's still not there. If, we, if I'll refresh it, I'll be able to see it over here. As you can see, it's shown that the file has been shared from the user test, which is this one. So test is sharing a file with this one and you can even view the file. Even if administrator wants to download the file, he'll be able to unshare or can download the file. So that's a very basic setup of own cloud. You can set it up in your environment and that's how a typical cloud works in your own network environment. That's it for today. Thank you very much.